Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In today's video, I am going to share you about the Accenture pre-learning modules and also the fundamental assessment which is nothing but TFA which is technology fundamentals assessment. So about that assessment, I am going to tell you everything in this video. So make sure that you watch the video till the end and do not skip the video anywhere uh, because I am not telling it for my watch time. I am having enough watch time but still you have to get a clarity right you have to understand right so for that reason i'm telling you just watch if you are uh, really getting bored to watch the video till the end just keep it at 2x speed so that it will be finished fastly okay so first thing is tfa is very important technology fundamentals assessment because if you do not clear this assessment whatever you have done till now the cognitive and technical or coding or communication interview documents upload everything will go waste because you have to definitely clear this assessment you don't have chance here you don't have a choice here you have to definitely clear this assessment within three attempts okay and i'll tell you what is the benefit if you complete it within the first attempt so after this tfa only you'll be having your um onboarding and then your stream specific training uh, greenfield training so you will have you dfa is very important to clear okay after that only you'll be onboarded into the company and you'll have modules so when you'll be getting modules is you will be uploading your documents right so after uploading your documents they'll take some time and they'll approve the documents and if your documents are not yet approved don't worry i'll tell you uh, my case i have submitted documents somewhere around 12th or 11th of this month uh, and till now my documents are not yet uploaded up, uh, approved so they'll take some time so don't worry that my documents are not yet approved because so many people are messaging texting me so many people are uh, mail uh, mails and comments i have uh, i'm seeing these type of comments so many uh, in uh, you know everywhere so don't get tensed you will be definitely uh, your documents will be definitely approved okay next each module uh, yeah in order to get incentive you'll be having a learning incentive of 10,000 rupees so in order to get this incentive you have to first satisfy two conditions number one is you have to complete each module with 98 percent so um, I mean overall your module completion percentage will be there right that should be 98 percent which is nothing but almost you can assume it to be 100 percent so you should complete all your modules in order to get the incentive and also you have to complete your TFA within the first attempt with 60 percent with in the first attempt you must get 60 percent and if you don't get you will not be getting incentives you'll be having second and third attempts as well but if you go for second and third attempts you have two problems there again first is you will not get incentive and number two is you have to get 65 percent there okay and yeah you'll have total of nine modules nine subjects you'll be having and the time given to you to complete all those modules is 45 days in between you'll have quiz mock test everything will be there and i'll tell you what are those nine subjects at the end of the video and recorded sessions also uh, they are not live sessions nobody will come and teach you in live they are uh, already pre-recorded sessions and you have to listen them at your convenience you can listen them at your comfortable time at your convenient time you can listen them okay and you'll have quiz and mock test regularly and uh, make sure that you attempt them for sure because if you attempt quizzes yeah, then you can understand how far you have uh, performed and all those things and mock tests also they'll be giving you three mock tests and mock test is mandatory and one thing i'm not sure is whether you have to attempt all the three mock tests mandatorily or one mock test you have to attend mandatorily i'm not sure but i think uh, it's not mandatory to attempt all the three one of the mo mock tests you have to definitely attempt it is what i know but still try to attempt all the three mock tests so that you will be uh, getting aware of the pattern about the platform they are using and about the question level difficulty everything you'll be coming to uh, know right so this is and the uh, next uh, when you'll be getting the result of tfa you'll be getting the result of tfa within one week okay within one week of your of your exam you'll be getting the result of tfa or sometimes it may take even late also if there are any technical issues or any problems uh, so don't uh, worry about that and so among all the nine subjects as i said i'll be telling you the nine subjects later so among all the nine subjects you will be having java rdbms uh, which is nothing but relational database management systems and web technologies these three modules are very lengthy and they have maximum of the percentage of the modules okay and the uh, tfa exam which you are going to write now i'll be telling about the uh, exam pattern 
so the tfa exam which you're going to write will be for total of 100 marks okay and this 100 marks is divided into two parts uh, first part section 1 will have 150 uh, marks and section 2 will also have 50 marks so in section 1 you'll have MCQs okay so in that MCQs you'll have total of 50 questions and for that 50 questions you'll be getting 50 marks one mark for each question and time you have to solve this is 90 minutes you have to solve 50 questions within 90 minutes and you don't have any negative marking for this and the exam will be conducted in metal browser metal browser so uh, for some of the people even the cognitive and technical assessment was also conducted in metal browser itself and even for me also it was conducted in metal browser itself so uh, you'll be proctored so uh, online you'll be proctored so you don't have a chance of uh, cheating over there so and since you don't have any negative marking at the end of the exam at the end of in the last five minutes or in the last 10 minutes if you're not sure about any of the question just uh, give a random answer because you don't have negative marking there and in section 2 you'll have coding and for this coding you'll have two questions two questions you need to code your two questions you need to execute and for this you have 50 marks and uh, the time given is 70 minutes and if you do not get the output uh, you know I mean test cases are not completely executed then you will be given marks based on the number suppose if partially some of the test cases are executed and some are not so based on the execution of test cases you'll be given marks okay and uh, in this also you don't have any negative marking and this will be conducted in tech stack po po portal it's not metal portal it, uh, this um, coding round will be i mean coding assessment will be done on tech stack portal and uh, in coding questions you'll have two one is from java and one is from uh, sql and from both java and sql both you'll be having choice so for java you'll be given one a or one b among one a or one b you have to choose one and uh, write that and coming to SQL, uh, you'll again have 2A, 2B and 2C, 2D like that. You'll have pair. 2A, 2B is one pair and 2C, 2D is one pair. So among both the pairs, you have to attend it, it, any one of the pair. You'll, okay, you'll be having choice among the questions. So if you're not sure about any one of the questions, you can uh, leave it. Okay, done. So this is the test pattern. And what else? Yeah, as I said, I'll be exp uh, giving the list of modules in the last. Let's see. So in modules, first thing is logic development. Uh, in logic development like writing the logics small logics not small logics for example even or or what is the logic behind that uh, you have to divide with two and check for the remainder right so like that logic development and after logic development you have analysis of algorithms and software engineering concepts in software engineering concepts you'll be having software testing software maintenance those kind of questions and OOP and UML um, object oriented programming and uh, unified modeling language so uh, the diagrams UML diagrams you'll have and OOPs concepts they'll be explaining you and ob obviously uh, those diagrams are also all related to oops right uh, the class diagram object diagram and all so you'll be having all that and in the next is programming in java which is a very long 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 module and in java point of view the very most important things are strings and arrays okay so you should be very much perfect about strings and arrays most of the questions you'll be getting from strings and arrays so uh, prepare strings and arrays uh, perfectly and the next is rdbms from relational database management system you know what is rdbms right tables uh, so um, retrieving the data from table inserting the data into the table creating a table uh, using the ascending descending order by clauses everything everything you'll have in that so you must be uh, knowing to write queries and uh, the next is web technologies so in web technologies they'll be teaching you about HTML, CSS, Java, JavaScript, not Java, I'm sorry, uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and maybe BHP. So it depends on what kind of uh, thing they are going on. But HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is common for, uh, you know, common. And the next thing, what they will be telling, I'm not uh, sure about it. And next, you'll be having Unix programming and also JSON. So these are the nine things you have, nine modules you have. And as I said, Java, RDBMS and Web Technologies are very lengthy modules. Uh, they'll be taking up a lot of time. And you, if you complete them, then you will be having a lot of percentage uh, completed, right? But still, it's better that you complete all the modules because uh, while writing the exam, those modules will definitely help you out. And yeah, so that's all for this video, guys. Uh, I hope this video is helpful for you. 
I try to cover all the important points regarding TFA but still if you're having any doubts uh, let me know in the comment section and I'm sorry I was not able to answer to all the comments uh, some these days comments and messages I have not seen uh, from now I'll be seeing all the comments all the messages uh, I was busy with some other work uh, these day all these days um, so from today I'll be again answering to all the comments all the messages everything and uh, Let's meet up soon in the next coming video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for them as well and let's meet up soon in the next coming video.